Operators of LFGIs and VersaFlow isolators will need to know how to change the gloves that are a part of this equipment. This video covers three topics. How to install glove sleeves, how to replace a glove inside the isolator, and how to use the germ-free rapid exchange glove system. How to install glove sleeves. Regardless of the sleeve type that you're using, the sleeve should wrap easily around the outside of the glove ports. Pull the open edge of the sleeve over the black plastic glove port so that both O-rings can hold the sleeve in place. Once the sleeve is in place, secure it by using both of the O-ring clamps. If you are using a two-part glove sleeve, you can attach any commercially available glove that is 12 inches long or longer. Contact Germ-Free or Contech for more information about gloves. To do this, first pull the glove sleeve out of the box so that the sleeve is inside out. Place the glove over sleeve or GOS over the sleeve and roll the sleeve so that it just covers the GOS. Now, take the O-ring clamp and place it over the sleeve making sure that it settles into the GOS groove farthest from you. Take the glove and place it inside of the sleeve, making sure the thumb is pointed upward. Stretching the glove with both hands will help loosen it and make the job easier. While you're stretching the gloves, look for any defects. Take the glove and roll the cuff over the sleeve and GOS. Take the second O-ring and place it over the glove securing it into the GOS groove closest to you. Now you're ready to push the entire sleeve and glove back into the box. After the sleeves and gloves have been installed, check again for any cuts or tears that may have occurred during the installation process. If containment has been compromised, the low flow alarm will sound. The next topic this video covers is how to replace a glove inside the LFGI while maintaining containment. During the course of normal work inside the LFGI, it is possible to tear a glove or sleeve. If this should happen, you can easily change out that glove or sleeve without breaking containment. To change a glove while maintaining containment, first pull the glove and sleeve out of the work area so that they are inside out. Remove the glove O-ring, roll the existing glove's cuff down to the first groove of the GOS, the one that is closest to your body. Now. Take a new glove and stuff it inside of the existing glove, leaving the cuff out and making sure the thumb is pointed up. Stretch the new glove's cuff over the old one up to the middle groove of the GOS. Secure the new glove with the glove O-ring at the middle groove of the GOS. Push the glove and sleeve back into the work area. Now, reach into the work area through another glove and grab the new glove assembly. At this point, the glove that is exposed to the work area is the old glove with the new glove directly behind it. With two fingers, carefully work the old glove off of the GOS from inside the work area. It will begin to come free in one spot. Work the free spot around the perimeter of the GOS to remove the old glove. Dispose of the old glove through the waste tubes and push a hand into the new glove. If you were to tear a sleeve during operation, it can also be replaced without breaking containment. First, remove the O-ring and move the sleeve to the outermost glove port groove. Push the new sleeve inside of the old one and pull the new sleeve over the glove port down to the innermost groove. Replace the sleeve O-ring to secure the new sleeve. Reach inside the work area through another glove and pull the old sleeve off and into the work area. Roll up the old sleeve to make it easier to discard. Place the old sleeve and GOS into a bag to contain any contamination. Close the bag and place it into the airlock. If you are using the GRX glove system, the procedure is slightly different. Start by reversing the sleeve. 
Stretch the outer end of the sleeve and insert the alpha ring. The alpha ring is the larger of the two white rigid plastic rings and has two wide grooves. Apply one of the two red alpha O-rings to the first groove only. Bring the sleeve back to its original position. Be careful not to pull the alpha ring off. Apply the second alpha O-ring to the outside of the sleeve. This will keep the alpha ring in place. When the alpha ring is properly positioned, one of the red O-rings will be under the sleeve and the other one will be on top of the sleeve. Next, you'll assemble the beta ring. Place the larger black beta O-rings into the grooves. Align the thumb of the glove to the half moon shaped cutout for easy alignment with the sleeve. Stretch the glove and pull it over the small O-ring grooves. To lock the glove into place, use the smaller black beta O-rings. Put each of the small O-rings into the smaller grooves on the beta ring. Before installing the glove in the beta ring, install the sleeve. Once the sleeve is attached to the isolator, pull it out of the work area. Push the glove and beta ring into the sleeve until it is seated inside the alpha ring. The last topic this video covers is how to change a GRX glove. To change a glove using the GRX system, begin by pulling the sleeve out. This will expose both the beta and alpha rings. Be careful not to remove the sleeve from the isolator. The surface edge must be exposed for an easy glove exchange. Push the beta ring in to assist in lining up the new beta ring. The glove end goes first. Fold the glove and push it inside the beta ring. Place the new replacement beta ring on top of the existing beta ring. Line up the half moon cutout toward the position of the thumb placement. Push the beta ring through by applying an even amount of pressure. When pushing through, do not place fingers directly behind the alpha ring. This procedure can be used for all glove changes even during operation when it is necessary to maintain containment. When it's necessary to don sterile gloves inside the isolator, use the following procedure. Wipe down the sealed package of sterile gloves with a sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol solution before placing it into the airlock. Do this for any other materials you're bringing into the isolator. Move all of the materials into the work area. Using sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol, wipe down your existing gloves. Carefully remove the sterile gloves from their packaging one at a time and place the gloves over your existing gloves. Remove any waste through the trash tubes. Wipe down the sterile gloves with sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol. This last step should not be followed if you are to perform gloved fingertip testing.